Um, the background is very important because I sat in my office in 2014 when I was just um, given the opportunity to, to, to contribute to the administrative and the development of our students. Those who were going overseas on the Summer Work and Travel program, which is the four months one, they had an opportunity to gain and to be exposed. But at the same time, I thought about it. What are they going to be doing with this experience after they leave um, Excelsior Community College? Would it be one that would be purposeful, something that they could put on their resume, something that will help them to grow, um, you know, to advance their career? Um, watch me, watch the cues. So some of the areas that were highlighted were, you know, the, in the industry employs non-Jamaicans for management positions. How are we going to help students to get some of these or to be prepared for some of these jobs? Theory being um, chosen over practical skills, I'm saying that probably the University of the Western East students were sometimes getting the jobs over or more capable students from here from Excelsior. Higher educational institution graduates told that they, that they were lack, lacking experience and uh, students unable to find jobs in their field of study despite tourism being Jamaica's larger sector. So these were burning issues for me and I wanted to use the international opportunity to help students to um, prepare for the workforce, to get ready. So the purpose of the research was, is to, to explore the effectiveness of international internship programs as a strategic approach to help um, students gain a competitive advantage as they prepare for the workforce. And two research questions came out of that, how, which we want to answer. How has the international internship benefited hospitality students' preparation for the workforce? And what are the strategies employed to improve the international internship? Now, just to give you an idea, I'm, I'm, I'm doing a mixed methodology, qualitative and quantitative. Um, my focus was on the hospitality students and business students because the internship opportunities um, exist mostly for the hospitality and, and business students at the associate degree and bachelor's, bachelor's level. Now, I use very unorthodox, um, well, I shouldn't say unorthodox because they're in, the, in, the, in, in, in literature, but I want to say that I use a lot of social media to the students and, and, um, and, and lectures here because... I see sometimes students saying that they're not doing well, but when you look at the Facebook pages, they're all, you know, the transformation is different based on what they're seeing. They're traveling to different places in the United States, which means that they're doing well, they're comfortable, and they're enjoying themselves. Now, so the demographic profile of the intern is, we had, I did everybody, everybody. This is this information and data collected over five years. So the groups for internship, which I'm, Focusing on not the summer work and travel with some with sometimes having excess of 250 um, Students I'm talking about the interns international internship students who go out and uh, Intern in their area of specialization. So that is specific. So 11 males 96 females between the ages of 19 and 40 Participants were mainly from lower to middle income families final year associate degree students specifically food and beverage um, they, I believe that um, the food and beverage persons have more skill sets than the accommodation and travel and entertainment students, and so they are given the opportunity, and then we have the final year BSc and tourism students. 94% of the participants had participated on already the summer work and travel. What does that mean? It means that they have some level of experience in terms of the cultural diversity, and you know, culture shock won't be an issue to them when they go on their internships. So that is key, that is important. And then 100% of the participants had one to 15 um, work experience. Uh, there should be an error there, but 100 of them had um, work experience Oh, sorry, that should be one to 15 years work experience in a related field prior to internship. So again, we're talking about reinforcing um, what they are learning at school. So the theoretical framework, I looked at the theory of work adjustment, which is the person to environment fit, which is important. I'll tell you about that a little bit more. And then the theory of experiential learning practices, where the two concentrations were, um, according to Colbe, the experience of the individual and the transformation of that individual. So the significance of the findings would relate to the students, Excelsior Community College, and the whole program in, in its entirety. Students continue with their academic and professional pursuits because they gain financially 
right? So you won't have a lot of um, students dropping out and they have their, their gadgets to continue their, their studies. Transformation of the students attitude and work ethics, I've seen that with my students. And then from an ECC perspective, it is a strategic opportunity in terms of internationalization of the institution. Retains more students in academic programs. Retention is a real thing. And then it creates international partnerships um, with employers over there, with sponsors over there, and possibly with other um, institutions. And then from an international um, internship program perspective, we're talking about the benefits, the practical, the social, the financial, and the educational benefits. It enables ECC hospitality students to gain a competitive advantage over non-participants.